Have you ever questioned the validity of the moon landing in 1969? This monumental event in human history has been the subject of intense debate and speculation since the moment Neil Armstrong took his first step on the lunar surface. The moon landing conspiracy theory, as it's known, has captivated minds worldwide, with skeptics pointing out a series of perceived anomalies to back their claims. One of the main arguments put forth revolves around the lunar photographs. Critics argue that multiple light sources were used, citing the seemingly unnatural shadows cast by the astronauts and their equipment. They propose that in a real lunar environment, with the sun as the only light source, such shadows would be impossible. Then there's the infamous claim of studio lighting. Skeptics point out that despite Apollo 11 having landed in the moon's sea of tranquility, a place known for its darkness, the astronauts are remarkably well lit. Could this be evidence of additional artificial light sources, they ask? Yet another contention surrounds the conspicuous absence of stars in the images. Critics argue that the vast, black lunar sky should be teeming with stars, yet none are visible in the photographs. Does this inconsistency suggest a studio-based setup, they wonder? However, these allegations aren't without counter-arguments. Experts point out that the perceived anomalies in the lunar photographs can be attributed to the unique lunar landscape and the properties of light and shadow on the moon. They explain that the astronauts appear well-lit due to the reflective nature of the lunar surface. As for the missing stars, experts say the camera's exposure settings were adjusted for the bright lunar surface, making the faint stars invisible. So what do you make of these arguments and counter-arguments? Does the evidence support the skeptics or the experts? The moon landing conspiracy theory continues to fuel debates and spark intrigue, leaving us with the burning question, so did they really land on the moon or was it an elaborate ruse? How many of you have heard of the Bermuda Triangle and its unexplained mysteries? This infamous stretch of the Atlantic Ocean wedged between Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico has been the center of countless tales and legends. Throughout history, numerous ships and planes have mysteriously vanished within its boundaries, leaving no trace behind. The Bermuda Triangle's history is riddled with such unexplained disappearances. The USS Cyclops, a massive fuel ship, vanished in 1918 with over 300 souls on board. Fast forward to 1945, five U.S. Navy Avenger torpedo bombers, collectively known as Flight 19, took off on a routine training mission never to return. Not a single piece of wreckage was found, nor any sign of the 14 airmen. Such incidents give rise to a plethora of theories. Some whisper of magnetic anomalies that mess with compasses and navigational equipment leading these vessels astray. Others speculate about extraterrestrial activity, suggesting that the Triangle is a cosmic hotspot for alien encounters. These theories, while intriguing, lack substantial evidence. However, it's not all about the supernatural or the extraterrestrial. There are also plenty of rational scientific explanations. Many experts propose that human error and unpredictable weather conditions are the culprits. The Triangle's weather is notorious for sudden violent storms, which could easily disorient pilots and seafarers. And let's not forget, the area is one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world, increasing the likelihood of accidents and mistakes. Moreover, the Gulf Stream, a powerful ocean current, flows through the Triangle, capable of swiftly carrying away any evidence of disaster. Methane hydrates exist on the ocean floor in this region. If disturbed, these can cause water density to drop, potentially sinking ships, and create atmospheric disturbances, possibly downing planes. In the end, despite all the theories and explanations, the Bermuda Triangle remains shrouded in mystery. Its secrets are yet to be fully unraveled. Every new disappearance, every unexplained incident, only adds another layer to the enigma. The Bermuda Triangle remains a mystery, with more questions than answers. Have you ever pondered over who really built the Egyptian pyramids? The answer to this question has puzzled historians and archaeologists for centuries. And while many theories have been proposed, none have been definitively proven. Let's start with one of the most controversial theories, the belief in extraterrestrial involvement. 
Proponents of this theory argue that the scale, precision, and astronomical alignment of the pyramids are too perfect to have been achieved by humans alone. They suggest that perhaps beings from another planet lent a hand or a tentacle in the construction. However, despite the intrigue, there's a glaring lack of concrete evidence to support this theory. Another theory suggests the use of advanced ancient technology. Some speculate that the ancient Egyptians had access to a form of technology that has been lost to the sands of time. This could explain the remarkable precision and alignment of the pyramids. But again, without tangible evidence, this theory remains in the realm of speculation. The most widely accepted theory is that the pyramids were built by a large workforce of manual laborers. Historical records indicate that tens of thousands of skilled and unskilled workers toiled for decades to construct these monumental structures. This theory is backed by substantial archaeological evidence, including the remains of workers' villages and tools, and inscriptions detailing the construction process. However, even this theory is not without its critics. Some argue that the sheer scale of the pyramids would have required a workforce far larger than what is suggested by historical records. Others question how such a large workforce could have been sustained over the many years it took to build the pyramids. So who really built the pyramids? The truth is we may never know for certain. Each theory has its merits and each raises its own set of questions. What we do know is that the pyramids are a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of the human spirit. The pyramids, majestic as they are, continue to hold their secrets tight. Ever wondered about the existence of the legendary lost city of Atlantis? A question that has piqued the interest of historians, archaeologists, and dreamers alike for centuries. This enigmatic city was first introduced to us by the ancient philosopher Plato, who described it as a powerful and advanced kingdom that sank into the sea in a single day and night of catastrophic earthquakes and floods. The story of Atlantis, as told by Plato, has been a subject of intrigue and speculation for over 2,000 years. The city was said to be beyond the pillars of Hercules, today's Strait of Gibraltar, and was so rich in resources and culture that its power was unrivaled. But what happened to this majestic city? Did it truly exist or was it merely a myth, a philosophical allegory conceived by Plato? Over the years, countless theories have attempted to pinpoint the location of Atlantis. Some believe it was in the Mediterranean, others in the Caribbean, and some even suggest it was in Antarctica. Expeditions have been launched, maps have been drawn and redrawn, and yet the city remains lost. Historians and archaeologists have tirelessly searched for concrete evidence of Atlantis, but to no avail. Despite advanced technology and numerous underwater explorations, no definitive proof of Atlantis has been found. The lack of tangible evidence, however, has not dampened our fascination with the lost city. If anything, it has only fueled it. The city of Atlantis, with its advanced civilization and tragic demise, serves as a reminder of the impermanence of even the most powerful entities. It's a tale that sparks our curiosity, makes us question our past, and fuels our desire for exploration and discovery. Atlantis, whether real or a myth, will continue to captivate our imaginations. It is a riddle wrapped in a mystery, a city lost in the annals of time and the depths of the sea. But who knows, perhaps one day the lost city of Atlantis will be found and its secrets finally revealed. Until then, the mystery continues.